Hello everybody, Gamer Views here. Welcome to my very first Let's Play on my YouTube channel. We're going to be playing Pokemon Omicron as a randomizer Nuzlocke. So before I start, I just want to talk about the template I have set up. So as you can see on the top right, you got to see me talking all the time. Hi. On the top left is going to be the gameplay. Underneath the gameplay is going to be our six Pokemon that's going to be on our team at a given time. So those fields will be updated once we start obtaining Pokemon. And then to the right of that is going to be the uh, question of the day, which today is, what Pokemon do you want to see? Uh, since it is a randomizer, we are going to be dealing with 704 different Pokemon. Personally, for me, I really, really hope I can catch an Eevee. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. So, yeah, that will be fun. Finally, in between the two screens is a death counter. And there's a reason why there is a gap between the gameplay and the video with the death counter in between. The idea is that every time a Pokemon faints, aka dies, I will add their image to be like in between those two so we still remember which Pokemon have died throughout this run and everything. So with that, let's begin. Hello, this is a pre-recorded message. It is only to be open in case of emergency. My name is Professor Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Please select an option. You know what? This is seriously not the first time I've ever played Pokemon games, so no info needed, but thank you. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them, but some people abuse them for power. That is why you are here today. For our records, please answer the following questions. Are you a boy or a girl? Let's play as a boy in this playthrough. Are you sure? Yes. And what is your name? So, I have tried using game reviews before on this game. Uh, the, the character limit does not let me do it, so we're going to have to stick with Gamer. So you're a gamer? Yes. Would you like to do a challenge run? Yes. So as I mentioned previously, this is going to be a randomizer Nuzlocke. So the rules are simple. In a Nuzlocke, uh, you can only catch the first Pokemon in any new area. You would have to nickname that Pokemon. If the Pokemon faints, it dies and you cannot use items during battle. So those are like the four main rules of a, a Nuzlocke run. And so right now to basically explain how uh, Revive, Sacred Ashes, really any kind of revival items will not work on Fainted Pokemon. And another cool feature in this one is there's also a Nuzlocke shop that's available in Fianga City. And then Randomizer, everything is randomized with the 704 Pokemon obtainable in the game. Uh, and yeah, so that means that our Pokemon we start off with, Pokemon we encounter, are all going to be random. And yes, this is the settings I want to do. Uh, by default, the rival has swag to make you feel enmity towards him. Is this okay? So I actually did this once by clicking no, and it doesn't feel like as humorous. So we're going to stick with yes. I guess we have to deal with our rival having swag. Alright, gamer, are you ready? Team Olympus has attacked Nyasa Town, leaving few survivors. The remaining citizens are being transferred to Zarephar Town through the escape route. Emergency Pokemon are available in the escape route for those who want to help stop Team Olympus. Thanks for watching this pre-recorded message. Beep. I don't know why, I always thought there should be a beep at the end of that. It's a pre-recorded message. Hello, who is this? I think we're safe here. Go Lucario. Was Lucario in a Master Ball? I'm pretty sure it was. Right, Lucario, the time has come. Go find, go find, Wilson. Tell him the time for cowardice is over. Tell him to redeem himself. Use extreme speed. And it's like that Lucario goes zooming away with extreme speed. Gamer, I hoped it would never have to come to this. They're out there. They won't stop until they get what they want. Gamer, I, you're growing up. I think you're ready for your first Pokemon. We have Pokemon stored somewhere down here in case of emergencies. You may as well take one. Perhaps if Team Olympus has ever stopped, you might become a better train than I ever was. I only wish I knew why they came after Nyasa Town. Hey! Aria! Gamer! Team Olympus found this cave! Aria, we need you to help fend them off! Oh no! Go with the professor, honey. He'll take you to his lab in Zerovar Town. Gamer, I love you. Be safe. Okay, bye, Mom! <clears throat> well, I suppose desperate times call for desperate measures. 
measures. As a professor, I'm supposed to give you a Pokemon and start you on your journey. But as a friend of your family, well, I trust your mother's judgment. She is one of the greatest trainers I have ever met. It's not that I doubt you, of course. You're surprisingly mature for your age. Follow me. I'll take you to get your Pokemon. Alright, so time to follow Professor Oak. Gamer, this way. Alright, cool. Keep walking. Almost there. There are three Pokemon in this case. Pick one, but pick wisely. It will be your companion for the rest of your life. Alright, cool. So we get to... This is emergency supply stock. So star number one is a Murkrow. So a dark flying type. I like that. A uh, Fion. Water type. Fion again. Sorry, I should have known about that. And Wilmer, A water type. Um... You know what? Between these three, we're actually going to be starting off with Wilmer in this playthrough. I've never used a Wilmer before, so this will be really fun. And it's a female Wilmer, so we're going to name it Misty. After the water type gym leader in Kanto. The Pokemon you chose. Wow. You truly are your mother's child. Amazing. I must be off. I'll be waiting for you in my lab in Zero for a time. Just continue through the cave. You can't miss it. Alright, perfect. So coming up right now, I have played this beginning part plenty of times. I've re tried recording this plenty of times. A lot of different areas keep on happening. So once we go down here, we're going to have our first battle. Hmm? Good job, Snubble. Snub, snub. My name's Jeremy. I'm an intern at the Professor's Lab. The professor asked me to give you these. Pokeballs. Fantastic. If you see a wild Pokemon, such as in a tall grass or a cave, then you can throw a Pokeball to catch it. You have to weaken it first, though. A Pokemon is easiest to catch when it is low on HP and has a status effect like being asleep or frozen. You can't catch someone somewhere else's Pokemon, though. That's best. There are many different kinds of Pokeballs. Some of them will catch more easily, catch Pokemon more easily. And I will be talking about those when we get to those new Pokeballs. Hey, since I'm telling you so much already, right, how about I show you the trainer? Let's have a battle. All right, cool. So we have our first Pokemon battle against Hiker Jeremy. So before I select next, uh, to my previous playthroughs, the Hiker has, Jeremy has had a Rayquaza and a Zekrom. I really hope there's no Legendary. Timber! Alright, perfect, we can handle this easily. Let's do a Misty. So, we're just going to use Water Gun, which is fantastic. And yeah, so, um, this is really just going to be how things are going to look like. This is the way how the game is built and everything. And perfect, we defeated Timber, gained 72 experience. We defeated Hiker Jeremy. Dang, you won! Gained 160 Poké Dollars. Fantastic. Wow, you're pretty good. Anyways, come visit Snubble and me in the Professor's Lab, okay? Let's go, Snubble. And just like that, we're gonna venture onward. Uh, before anything else, we're gonna go over here to pick up this item. And we found the running shoes. Uh, hold down the Z button while walking to increase your pace. So now we're being able to run, run everywhere, which is fantastic. And then we're going to talk to this person over here. Hello, young trainer. Those Team Olympus goons are up to no good again, aren't they? Here, this will help. Thank you very much. You got a potion. That potion will heal your Pokemon even in the middle of a battle. It will, but we're playing a Nuzlocke, so we really can't follow... We can't allow that to happen. Uh, isn't my Mudkip cute? My mommy gave him to me. He's a different color, so he got bullied by all the other Mudkips. But I hope I love him just the way he is. You know, Mudkips' shiny looks really, really cool. I do enjoy it. So we're going to exit the escape route, and we're in Zero of our Town. And we're just going to go into Professor Oak's lab. Ah, excellent gamer, you're here. Let's get down to business. My mom, I'm not entirely sure where your mom is, but I'm planning to meet up with her later. She's not recruiting allies to help fight against Team Olympus. I'll see if I can get, get keep you in contact with her. In the meantime, I need a favor. One of the students in the school just stopped in my lab to start an internship with me. Can you go fetch him for me? I would re appreciate it. All right, cool. So before we do head over there, though, let's talk to other people in the town. See what they got going on. Uh, my mommy says I shouldn't talk to you. Stranger danger, stranger danger. I called Pidgey today. My Pidgey and I have been training very hard. Good. So I do train your Pokemon very hard. Hi there. Are you a trainer? Have you met my son, Jake? He wants to be a trainer. He's a great kid. Sweet, kind, and caring. My 
big brother Jake is teaching me all about the flag. It's really fun to say. Yeah, it is really fun to see, actually. Uh, so over here we actually have the Pokemon Center, so we go in and heal up our Pokemon. And yes, Nurse Joy, we want to heal up our Pokemon, thank you very much, because, you know, we had a very tough battle against that Timber. Thanks for waiting, we restored your Pokemon full health, we hope to see you again. Do you have a hero? My hero is probably Red or Brendan. Those two trainers are just so cool. I had a battle to, with a Team Olympus run today. I beat him, then I threw him in jail. I'm on break now. The veteran region has uh, trainers called the gym leaders. Normal trainers and trainers called the gym leaders. If you beat all of them, you, face the, you can face the Elite Four. And yes, we do have a Pokemon. It's so cool. Yeah, Misty's actually a very cool Pokemon. It's the OFC. You're new around here, aren't you? Trying to hide from the Team Olympus invasion? Can't blame you. Yeah, well, we kind of had to. We were told that we have to hide. Over here is the Pokemon. The Pokemon. I'm trying to bring for rare and exotic ingredients. And I'm going to purchase the repel. It makes it a lot easier to go through the tall grass while Pokemon attacking left and right. That's very true indeed. So let's see over here. So right now we're going by Pokeballs and Potions. So I know we got five of them, but I'm about to just buy ten more. Because this way we also get a Premier Ball. So Premier Ball has the same catch rate as a Pokeball, which is a 1.1 1 .1 times rate. So it doesn't affect the catch rate at all of any Pokemon. And I believe this is the school. But we're going to go there in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.